and stoned, left for dead. And the Bible tells us that when such things happened to the Apostle Paul, that um, they determined that they would go throughout all the churches and encourage the brethren. And this is what they said in Acts 14, 22, strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith, saying, we must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of heaven. This is amazing. They beat him up, they left him for dead, him and his team. And you and I would have been tempted by our flesh to just forget this. I'm moving to, you know, I'm moving somewhere. I'm going to, I'm moving to Southern California. It's hard to be a Christian. I'm moving. I'm, I'm, don't get me wrong. If God's opened the door for you to move to some peaceful retirement thing in Florida, that's between you and God. I'm, not, I'm just using this as an illustration. When you, when you're like, man, I can't tell you anymore. There's so much evil here. And I just, somebody just made fun of me for being a Christian at work. I'm moving. Oh, why would you do that to yourself? Honestly, why would you do that to yourself? You've just entered into the ministry. You're a Christian now. Can you imagine deploying the U.S. Marines somewhere? They land on the shores and you hear this. What was that? A bullet went by us. A bullet just went by us. What's that over there? Somebody blew something up. Do you think they would act like that? They're prepared for that. They kind of love it. What's that movie? Didn't Robert Duvall say, I love the smell of napalm in the morning in one of those knucklehead movies? I mean, the, the whole spirit of like, oh, George Washington was like that. It's written in books. You ever seen a horse when it goes into battle? The answer is no. Who uses horses in battle? But I've seen movies. <laughs> I've seen movies, and you can read this, by the way. I think it's in the book of Proverbs where it says that, that the horse that is called the bat, that when a battle breaks open, the horse runs to battle. While everybody runs away, the horse runs into battle. Did you know that? A horse's nostrils flares at the sound of war, the Bible says. Isn't that amazing? It's like, yes. Hey, listen. At the presence of evil, the Christian, their nose should flare spiritually. It's like, yes, this is an opportunity to shine light. Yes. Boo! People would say, wait a minute. Let everybody run. The Christian is to say, what was that? Sounded like war to me. Didn't the Bible tell us that we have been enlisted by Christ himself into this war and that no man who's engaged in the battle entangles himself with the affairs of this life? Can you imagine a guy going to battle? He's got his, he's got his, you know, toys with him. He's got his Xbox. He's got his sink with him and his, no, no, no. They're ready. And we're to be ready for suffering that Christ would be glorified in it. Third argument in hot pursuit, verses 10 and 11, it's this, becoming who he is, watch, in you. Becoming who he is, in you. <clears throat> Sounds strange, isn't it? But it's true. Being conformed to his death, if by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. This is awesome. We see this, that we are to be wanting his sanctification in us. God, sanctify me. Christian, make that your prayer. Thank you.